Welcome to Lavanya's Compute Classes. In this video, I will explain conflict serializability. In the previous video, I already explained what is serializability and types of serializability. Now, in this video, I will explain what is conflict serializability. Conflict serializability means it is possible to convert any non-serial schedule. Is it equivalent to uh, serial schedule? So, that is the concept of serializability. For checking that we have two methods are there one is conflict serializability second one is uh, um, second one is view serializability first in this video we will explain conflict serializability with an example so in this example i will take one schedule yes with three transactions t1 t2 t3 with some operations there are two i three items are there x y z so in these three operations i will apply some operations like r for read operation w for right operation so if you see this transaction this is either it is a serial schedule or a non serial schedule it is a non serial schedule because all the transactions are uh, parallelly executed first executed t1 then t3 then again t2 uh, without completing t2 again t3 t3 to t2 again t2 to t1 so this is a parallel schedule non serial schedule now we check it this non serial schedule is possible to check it equivalent to serial schedule or not for that we are using first method that is conflict serializability for checking conflict serializability we have to check something that is check the conflict pair in other transactions and draw the edges so what is the checking the conflict pairs what are the conflict fair means we have two operations are there one is w and second one is r write and read operations so in in these two operations what type of conflicts are coming what are the conflict pair means w r one conflict pair w w is one more conflict pair and r w so w r w w r w for these pairs pairs we get the conflict for r r we are not get any conflict that is also other transaction okay so check this one and draw a graph precedence graph for this precedence graph uh, graph means it is a combination of um, nodes and edges so how many nodes and how many edges we requirement there are depends upon the transactions how many transactions are there here in this example t1 t2 t3 three transactions are there so we consider three vertices three nodes okay so this is the graph now we will go for check the conflict pairs in sequential order first rx r r is conflict with w here r is conflict with w in other transaction so check it where is the rx is there here rx is there and in t2 any transaction is there here rx it is not there uh, r is conflict with w so check it w w x is there in the t2 no w x is not available and t3 we check it w x is anywhere it is there so w x is not there so r x is not problem no problem that means just cut it cut it means it is already checked next sequential operation here r x is also conflicted with w x so rx is conflicted with wx that means t3 to t1 it is also one exits there so now all the transactions are over here it's within the same transaction any conflict is there no problem leave it because you are checking all are in other transactions only so this is the precedence graph after finding all these things now it is over now you are finding after finishing the precedence graph this is called as precedence graph After drawing the precedence graph, find out any loop is there or not. Any loop is there? T2 to T1, uh, T2 to T3, T3 to T1, but again no cycle. So here no cycle or loop. Cycle is not formed and loop is not formed. If any cycle or form it is not formed, then it is an serializability. That means it is possible to convert this parallel schedule into serial schedule. That is the concept of conflict, uh, serializability. 
if any time the president's graph contains no loops or cycle then it is possible to convert this parallel schedule into serial schedule so that any time parallel schedule is converted into serial schedule the concept is known as serializable okay so now it is possible to convert this transaction is possible to convert it into uh, serial schedule that means serializability is possible that is also according to conflict serializability now we check it so there how many transactions are there here in this exam we are taking t1 t2 t3 if three transactions are there it means how many possible ways we are conducting serial scheduling that means factorial 3 factorial 3 means 3 into 2 into 1 that is six ways we are conducting the serial schedule i already explained this concept in the previous video check it once that means t1 t2 t3 one one method t1 we just t1 keep it like this only change these two only t1 we are just changing these two t3 t2 this is first pair second pair next third one keep it to start with t2 t2 then t1 then t1 then t3 fourth method is again start with t2 only but we change these two t3 then t1 this is also one method and fifth one fifth one is start with t3 t3 after t3 t1 then t2 otherwise sixth one is t3 then t2 t1 so these are the possible ways uh, conducting serial schedule if the transactions are three but for this example for this schedule in which way we are conducting the serial schedule out of these six which one is possible to conducting in serial manner means take the graph here i already draw once again i'll draw the graph in this in this new paper t1 t2 and t3 the old graph again once again I copied into in this new paper so this is the president's graph already i explained how to draw this president graph so in this six possibilities which which possibility is uh, taking for uh, conducting the previous example in serial schedule so i will explain now how to select in these six any one how can you select so first in this president's graph it is a directed graph first to find out in degree select which node have in degree 0 first select that node so in so in this first to find out in degree in degree of t1 so in degree of t1 means so towards t1 there are two arrow marks are going to t1 so in degree of t1 is 2 and in degree of t2 in degree of t2 means t2 no one is coming towards t2 so t2 in degree is 0 t3 is towards t3 coming only 1 so t3 so in this first to find out which now node has in degree 0 so that is which one t2 so select t2 once t2 is selected removing all the edges towards coming to t2 that means just coming these two that means whatever the everything is removed means so which one is left here only t1 t1 and t3 like this now in this find out again in degree so what is the in degree of t1 in degree of t1 is 1 in degree of t3 is 0 so again select in degree 0 node that is t3 that is next t1 so out of all these six uh, six pairs so which serial which one is serial scheduling mean this is the one t2 t3 t1 so selected first t2 so in this which pair means selected t2 t2 t3 t1 so like this so this is the pair t2 t3 t1 selected that means this is actual schedule this is your scheduling this scheduling is equivalent to conducting like this t2 t3 t1 so that is called as view serializability that means so after finishing the graph we are getting this this way we are selecting t2 then t3 and t1 this is the actual input you are taking the transactions parallel scheduling now it is converted into serial schedule so first which one which transaction we are selecting means t2 so write all the t2 transactions first that is first ry then 
RZ then WZ. So write first all the T2 transactions. After T2 which one you going with? T3. T3 means these transactions. After T2 write again RY then RX then WY. After the T1, what are the T1 transactions? T1 transactions are here. We just write it T1 transactions. Those are Rx, Rz, Wx and Wz. So, these are the conflict serializability. This is the parallel schedule. This is the parallel schedule. This parallel schedule that means non-serial schedule is possible to convert it into like this serial schedule. So, any non-serial schedule is possible to write in serial scheduling that is called as serializability. So, this is an example for conflict serializability. Thank you for watching my video. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel, share it to your friends. Thank you.